Hey there, Shuby Doodlers. How are you doing? Don't be scared. This is not a geometry lesson. Well, it is, but think of it as a drawing lesson. But let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Today, we're going to construct a couple of triangles. Let's do one at the top here first. And I'm just going to draw a line across there. And let's say we want to draw an equilateral triangle, which means it's exactly the same length on each side. Well, you choose a length. And a compass is basically a pin on one end, a pivot there, and a little pencil at the other end. So let's say we're going to make something that is about well, roughly six centimeters. So what I'm going to do is stick the pin in there where I want one corner of the triangle to be. And I'm going to make a little mark. And I'll stick the pin right where that mark crosses the line and make another mark at the other end, which will be exactly where the pin was before. To draw a an equilateral triangle, all you need to do is to stick that in the pin and draw an arc up there. And again, on this pin, draw an arc up there. And then we connect that crossing point to there and the crossing point to that point there. And then, <laughs> and in doing that, we have created a perfect equilateral triangle where that line is equal to that line. The length is equal to that line is equal to the length of that line, which is what an equilateral triangle is. Underpinning this, you've got that arc and you, if you follow it all the way around, you'll see it connects up there and it connects up there. And if you stick the pin in up here, it should connect through at the bottom there like that. So it's all about <laughs> arcs being construction lines. If you need a bit of extra help, come and join me on Patreon where you can download the PDF help sheet. Now we can use the same principle down here to create an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two lines that are the same length. So let's start again with the same kind of width. Let's do that there and do that there. But this time you remember that was about six. Let's make this 10. So it's gonna be a long, ooh, it's 10, it's really 13 or something, but let's try and make it about 10. This is not the best ruler for measuring with. So put the pin in that crossing point so that that is one corner of the triangle. And we're gonna put the pin in the other end and that's gonna be the other corner of the triangle. And then this is our crossing point. So what we need to do is to join them up like that. It'd be better with the other side of the ruler. Let me join them up like that. And there we have a perfect isosceles triangle. So that equals that. So those two have an equal length, but this one doesn't. So this was about 10, wasn't it? And this is about six. So And this can be any length that you like. This, these two can be any length that you like. So it can be really, really pointy or it can be really, really shallow, acute or obtuse. And as we did up there, let's see what happens if we follow the curve around. That's going to be quite different. So that's going to be coming all the way to there and all the way to there. So that's quite a different sort of construction thing that is going on. There you go. That wasn't too scary, was it? Next time, I'll show you how to construct a perfect square. Now, look, click down there and make sure you're subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. And do ring the little notification bell so you get told when I create new videos. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. That's the secret. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.